You have an idea for a generative AI project, but you're struggling to begin. The most effective teams begin with rapid prototypes, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Welcome to episode 24 in ProLego's Generative AI series. This is the second in our step-by-step -step mini series where I show you how to build your first generative AI product from start to finish. Last week, I showed you how to pick your best generative AI opportunity, and today I'm gonna to show you how to begin. All modern software engineering methodologies, such as Agile and Lean Startup, are designed to mitigate risk. We want to evaluate feasibility quickly before making additional investments, and in generative AI, we evaluate a few key questions. Are the models smart enough? How much data investment is required? And will the solution be useful? You can begin answering these questions very quickly in generative AI. The primary steps are, step one, prepare the data, step two, process the data with prompts, and step three, qualitatively evaluate the results. Work through these three steps quickly to evaluate feasibility and defer process or optimization activities. Don't invest in user stories, JIRA tickets, metrics, project plans, architecture diagrams, or design mockups, or anything that doesn't help you answer these three questions. If you are not getting answers in the first two weeks, you are almost definitely wasting energy. I've shared many ways to build rapid prototypes. In episode 19, I created an LLM demo with OpenAI's GPTs, and in episode 16, Guy Savan demonstrated prototyping with Google Sheets. You have infinite options from quickly building an application to simply pasting data into ChatGPT. Let's now discuss how we did rapid prototyping for Project Ground Crew, the example project we're using for this step-by-step -step mini series. Ground Crew uses large language models to understand and interact with our code base. Our goal is to improve code maintenance, knowledge management, engineering onboarding, documentation, and identify potential code issues. Here's how we followed the three steps. One, prepare the data. We used our code to create embeddings and stored them in ChromaDB, an open source embedding database. Step two, process the data with prompts. We built a simple LLM RAG application that passes the relevant embeddings and a question to the LLM for processing. Step three, qualitatively evaluate the results. Well, this step was easy. It didn't work. We quickly realized this approach wouldn't work. Embeddings based on code don't match well to embeddings from natural language. We discussed a few options and decided to use LLMs to summarize the code and create an embedding of the summary. If you're interested in these details, be sure to watch our YouTube live discussion with the engineers. The link is in the show notes. This rapid prototype only took a few hours and we instantly had insight into the feasibility and challenges with ground crew. Evaluating the results through model intelligence, data investment, and utility, we obviously need additional investment in data. So that's how we're doing rapid prototyping with ground crew. In coming episodes of this step-by-step -step mini series, I'll show you how we're building it and provide insight you can use on your own projects. Be sure to subscribe and sign up for our email newsletter so you don't miss a critical episode. Now watch this next video and learn how Veracant did rapid prototyping on their first AI product. Thank <laughs> you.